Hey everyone, it's Crystal with Magnolia. Welcome in. It is Win It Wednesday. Very excited to be here with you guys today. And today, I'm going to be working with some ink and I'm super excited. We're going to be using two stencils that released just today. Sam got on a little bit earlier today and showed you guys four new stencils and the ink variety packets. Super excited for, to see those come out. So today, I'm going to be working with one of my favorites, Raising Wild Things. I mean, anybody else raising wild things? Because I got one that's totally wild, running around upstairs, being all sorts of crazy. So if you relate to me, comment below because I feel you, Mama. The second stencil that I'm using today is super awesome. It's super detailed and it is the sewing machine and I absolutely love that one. So this one's going to come in just a little while. That one we're going to be working with a little bit of ink and a little bit of paste. So I'm super excited to get started. If you're just coming in today for Win It Wednesday, I want you guys to comment your favorite stencil that we've released in 2022 so far. So is it the Raising Wild Things? Was it the Old Glory Cross? Man, there's just been so many awesome ones that we've came out with lately. I can't even choose. So I'm excited to see which ones you guys come up with. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And the first thing that I'm going to do today, again, working with ink, raising wild things, is I'm going to be working on a bleach t-shirt. These are one of my favorite things that I do. Um, I bleach t-shirts all the time, and they're some of my favorites. So I have two different ones here. I couldn't choose, so we're going to do both of them. One's a gray, and one's like this burnt orange color that I just have fallen in love with. So we're going to do Raising Wild Things on both of those, and then we're going to start our sewing machine one. I'm very excited. So the first thing that I'm going to do is we have these ink mats. Um, they are the size of the paper, just a little bit bigger, um, for the 8.5 by 11, so they fit perfectly right under the t-shirt for your design. So since the Raising Wild Things go sideways, I'm actually going to put my ink mat sideways on my shirt so then I know where to place my stencil. So why you would use the ink mats is it keeps the stencil in place to the fabric and it's a lot easier to work with. So sometimes when you ink and you move your t-shirts and you're not using an ink mat, they um, tend to slide underneath. And when you're doing a design, you really don't want that to slide. It starts to bubble. You get a little bit of bleeding. I just, I really am an awesome advocate for these ink mats. They are a lifesaver. So what I'm doing is when I bleached, I bleached in like a, um, a square. And I'm just putting the ink mat right onto that square. And I'm smoothing it down to where it is sticky. So what I'm going to do is I went a little bit higher than I was expecting. So I'm just going to take the ink mat off, move it down a little bit, and do it one more time. They're super easy to take off and replace. Now anybody who has an ink mat, comment below on how well you like that thing. I, I again, just absolutely love it. Okay, so I went ahead and we have smoothed down our surface to our ink mat here and we are ready to get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just going to take the stencil off of the backer sheet and with working with fabrics you don't have to fuzz at this point because you want the stencil as sticky as it can be to stick to the fabric. So I'm just going to give it a good eyeball. I want to make sure that my saying is on the bleached part. If it's not, it's just as simple as picking it up and starting all over again. All right, so I am just smoothing down my stencil. I'm getting all of the bubbles out, pressing pretty hard on it, just so we don't have any bleeding. Today, I am using coal black ink. And I'm going to go ahead and open those now. 
So some people ask how I do my bleach t-shirts. There are so many different ways and techniques that you can use. The one that I would recommend is doing um, your solution in a 50-50. So 50% bleach, 50% water, in just a regular spray bottle. And then get as close to the fabric as you can, and then that's where you're going to spray in whatever design motion you want in the middle. Then I kind of spray it a little bit higher and step back, and that's how you get your um, little splots around the t-shirt. I've seen some people take a paintbrush and kind of flick it to have the paint splatter marks. I've actually seen some people just bleach the, the little sleeves with an actual paintbrush. There's so many different techniques that you can do. But the biggest thing is, I would say use a tri-blend t-shirt, 50-50% solution. I then give mine in a hydrogen peroxide bath. Um, so I just kind of dunk it in hydrogen peroxide. This stops the bleaching process. I'll wash my shirts in the washer, tumble dry them, and then I start my bleaching process with my stencil. So if you guys have any questions about bleaching, comment below. Totally okay with sharing any secrets or tips and tricks that I have with you. This is one of my favorite things to do. So what I'm doing here is I'm just emptying my ink packet, which has so much ink in there, guys. Man, this goes a long ways. And I'm putting it into a little canister, little, little petri, little dish tray, little plastic guy. And this just helps me just um, moving my paste around, not really working with the packet, and then I'm going to do it right on top of my stencil. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of ink, because a little goes a very long way. It's a little bit thinner than the consistency of the paste, so you want to work a little and then build on it. So I'm just working in an up and down motion. Removing the excess as I go. And anything that kind of has the background of the shirt, I'm wanting to cover it. Just because that's going to be the design that we pull up. Now with ink, you could work a little bit slower. It doesn't dry as quick as paste does. And if you're adventurous, you could use multiple colors and that's always fun. I personally, I personally um, just love the color black. I think it goes with everything and a lot of the designs that I do really have white and black in them. I like the black when I bleach t-shirts because I feel like it brings out the design because your background with the bleach is a little bit lighter. So anything that you do that's just a tad bit darker, it's going to make it look a little bit more vibrant. All right, and we are almost done. Just get a little bit more ink right here at the end. Now that I have everything covered, I'm going to go back one more time and I'm just going to make sure that all of my saying is covered. See your design and looking back at you, you have enough ink on there. If you can't see your design, you have way too much ink and keep on squeegeeing until you can see it. All right, so I think that I am happy with this. Now, very important step. If you have black ink on your hands and you go to lift up your shirt, you might get it on there. So what I recommend is always having a little baby wipe handy and making sure that you have nothing on your fingers. And then right after that, I'm gonna go ahead and peel it up. Are you guys ready to see what it looks like? look how cute. Okay, I'm going to put it right here next to me because we're going to use the stencil just one more time on the shirt right underneath here. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. I still have the ink mat in for now. Here is this one. What do you guys think? Raising wild things. How cute is that? So it is still wet, so I'm going to be very careful of taking my ink mat out. And I'm going to set this shirt to the side to be able to dry. So I let all of my t-shirts or any fabrics, I let them dry for 24 hours. One last peek here. Look how cute. 
All right, I'm totally gonna wear this. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, side note. I let my t-shirts dry for 24 hours and then I go in and I heat set them. Um, I heat set them with a household iron. You can use a press if you want to. Household iron works just fine. I just do about, you know, two to three minutes on each side, medium setting, no mist, front and back, and then between the fabric itself and the heat source, I just put a piece of parchment paper down. And that's all I do. And then that makes it permanent and you can keep washing it and washing it and washing it. So now that we have our other shirt, I'm so excited to get started with this one. We're gonna use that same Raising Wild Thing stencil. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this ink mat in here. Oh, super cute, I'm excited. All right, are you guys ready to get started on this one? Very excited. All right, same stencil. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my stencil. You guys can see the same. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it where I like it, right on those bleached parts. I'm gonna smooth it down. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my black face and we're gonna get started again. How many of you guys have done fabrics and t-shirts, even bleach t-shirts? Aren't they just the funnest things to do? I just, I cannot stop making them. There's something about making the, your, you know, clothing and sayings the way that you like them. It's just awesome. I've been making them for my daughter. I've been making them for family members. They make great birthday presents. Uh, I just, I love it. It's one of my favorite things. All right, so we're working with that black paste. Still the same sample packet. How cool is that, right? And we are almost done with this one. These guys go so quick. Okay, moving it around. And we got our last little bit to do. All right, now we have that one all ready. We're gonna go ahead and peel it up. Make sure we have no ink. And we are ready to go. One swift motion there, stencil is off. And we have our next t-shirt. Look how cute. Don't you guys just love this color? I don't know what it is about this color, but I absolutely love it. Look how cute this t-shirt is. I'm so excited. Okay, I know it's still wet. I shouldn't be playing around with it. So we're gonna go ahead and take out our ink mat and we're gonna let this guy dry. Now, I hope you guys had fun watching our t-shirts, raising the wild things one more time. How cute is that? And then we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get started with our next project. If you're just tuning in, it is Win It Wednesday, and we're so excited. So how you win today is you're going to comment below your favorite stencil that we've came out with in 2022. I can't still pick one. I still like Cottontail Farms, the Old Rugged Cross, the sewing machine we're about to work with, the Raising Wild Things. I just I cannot pick one. So I'm excited to see which ones that you guys do. And I forgot to mention, what are you guys gonna win today? So I am gonna be picking two winners, two of you. Oh my gosh. So one is gonna get one of the Raising Wild things and another is gonna get the sewing machine stencil. Super, super excited. So when we're working with ink, I wanna do an ink on the sewing machine. And I also want to do one with a little bit of organization. I am not an organized person. 
I'll just say that right now. <laughs> but when I do organize, I love to like put little items in baskets or um, little like trinket looking things. So what I wanted to do is I'm going to take with chalk paste, I'm going to do a little, um, the sewing machine on this little guy. So if you ever sew, you know, you have your needles, you have your threads, you have your thimbles, you have all of the stuff that kind of can go in one little area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sewing machine stencil on here and then you could put little cups and organizations over it. So I want to go ahead and do that first and then I want to move on to an inking, which is another organization little basket. So I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to fuzz my stencil. It's the first time I've used it. I don't want it to stick all the way to the wood surface. I want it to come up really easy because I want to use it in a second and I don't want it to stretch. And thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope that you're enjoying our projects for today. I'm excited to be here with you. As you guys can tell, I'm a little under the weather. I did get sick this past weekend, but I'm starting to feel like I'm on the mend. All right, guys, so I fuzzed, and now I'm going to put this guy as close to the middle as I can on the top, middle, sides. Give it a good eyeball look, and I'm just going to smooth it down. No bubbles. I'm super excited for this one. How about you guys? I love the detail work in it. So since we used a little bit of ink on this squeegee that I'm going to use, I'm just wiping it off. And then I'm going to go in and grab some chalk paste. I'm super excited. All right, so we got a little bit of chalk paste here. And I'm just going to work down and cover my entire design. Remember, when you do this, you want to make sure that your stencil is looking back at you. And if not, squeegee away and get all of that paste. And we are almost already done with this. Can you guys, like, even imagine how quickly these projects go? Are you amazed? Each time I do it, I'm like, wow, that took me so quick. I was expecting it to be a lot longer, especially when you have a lot of detail. Okay, so I have all of that done. I have made a mess out of my fingers. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean those before lifting up that stencil. And are you guys ready to see it? I am ready to see it. Okay, peeling up now. Oh, look how easy that come off of the surface. I'm gonna stick it here because we're gonna use it again here in just a second. Are you guys ready to see it? So here is this guy. How beautiful, right? Look at all of the detail work here. I just love this stencil. Now I can put all of the little pieces right on the top here. Little cups, little, I am not a sewer. Let's just say that. I have a sewing machine, I am not an active sewer. But you have your little pin cushions and your needles and you can put them all in little cups and put them right on here for organization. How cute, right? All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do today with the same stencil, along with organization, is these little baskets. How cute are these baskets? You can get these baskets at Walmart, at the Dollar Tree, anywhere. And they're just like amazing little baskets. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stencil the sewing machine right here. So then you can actually add more sewing stuff, organization. I just think it's a really cool craft idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the stencil and go ahead and get started with some more ink. I have this little ring here and I'm gonna do as best I can to be able to even it up and I'm just gonna smooth it down because we're using that ink. We want it to stick. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, I might be a little close to the edge. Okay, I like that. Let's go ahead and smooth this guy down. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm very excited. I still have my sample packet of ink. Can you guys believe that? Three projects down and we're still using the same sample. Oh my goodness. And remember, a little goes a long ways. So I'm just working the ink into this stencil. And I'm removing the excess as I go so I can see the image. There we go. All right, starting to run a little bit out of that ink, but I think we're going to make it. We are almost there. All right, that little bit did it. So I just ran out of the sample packet and I just finished the project. So that is three whole projects with nothing but one sample ink packet. Can you guys believe that? Are you guys ready to see our final finished design? I am. All right, let's go ahead and peel and reveal. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? All right, let me show it to you guys. Let me put this down so I can give it a water bath here in just a second. And what do you guys think? So here is our thing. Let me put this little thing down and look. Kind of came over just a little bit more, but it looks super cute, super organizational. You could do designs on the front, back, sides. Again, you can pick these up for super inexpensive at Walmart and even at the Dollar Tree. Can you believe that? And then you can put all of your cute little designs on there for organization, for your office. I know I have tons of things that I could use this for. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed all of our projects today. We made two t-shirts. We bring this guy back. We did two things with the sewing machine stencil. I'm super, super excited about these projects. I love all of the new stencils coming out. I hope you guys do too. And again, if you're tuning in for Win It Wednesday, one of you guys are going to win the sewing machine stencil. One of you guys is going to win one of the Wild Things stencil. And how you win is to comment below your favorite stencil that we came out with in 2022. Well, thank you guys for joining, and I'll see you in a future video. Bye, everyone.